with the excerpts from How to Rear a Child. Today we begin the excerpt 16, The Age of Innocence. Age of Innocence. If your sex does not become finally a moment of meditation, you have not yet known what sex is. First seven years of life are very significant in the life of a child. The inner sky is clear. Now anything can be engraved on it. The priests rush first, followed by the parents and the society. Thus the process of conditioning begins for the child. The child trusts these people and it is hoped that they will help his innocence to blossom into Buddhahood one day. But this does not happen. If up to seven years a child is left innocence, uncorrupted by the ideas of others, then to distract him from his potential growth becomes impossible. I repeat this. If up to seven years a child can be left innocent, uncorrupted, by the ideas of others, then to distract him from his potential growth becomes impossible. Therefore, child's first seven years are most vulnerable and important and they are in the hands of parents, teachers and the priests. How to save children from parents, priests and teachers is a question of such enormous proportion that it seems almost impossible to find how to do it. It is not a question of helping the child. It is a question of protecting the child. If you have a child Protect him from yourself. Protect the child from others who can influence him. At least up to seven years protect him. The child is just like a small plant, weak and soft. Just a strong wind can destroy it. Any animal can eat it up. You put a protective wiring around it and that is not imprisoning. You are simply protecting. When the plant is bigger, the wires will be removed. The barricading will be removed. Protect the child from any kind of influence so that he can remain himself. Remember it is only a question of seven years because then the first circle will be complete. By seven years he will be well grounded, centered and is strong enough to find his own way. Now, what is the way we can protect the children? You notice that I had given an example. I was studying in the university and I happened to stay with one of my uncles who was a university lecturer for some extra lessons. His youngest son was maybe six or seven years, was very mischievous. When you see a child is making mischief, the people, your friends, neighbors, 
always complain that you do not give training to the children you do not know how to bring up the children we have learned the adam and eve's way of bringing up the children that the children should not be able be allowed to think their way whatever parent says they have to do they cannot make the decisions on their own and children are bound to do mischief because that is the age of innocence that time if someone says something like that that you have not given a training to the children you don't know how to bring up the children that time you are protecting the child by saying what do you mean by saying that do you know the mischief is the way of a child these are the ways of the child growth you cannot help you cannot stop the child from doing the mischief because that is the natural process of growth and what is wrong in that i allow my children to do the mischief many situations like these come if the child is not doing well in the class many comes and will start giving their suggestion i do not need your suggestions and suggestions should be given only when they are asked for these are some of the ways and means that one has to say speak out religiousness does not mean that you should be timid you should be very courageous to say things that you think are true these sort of situations i face on a day to day basis yesterday it happened one person he wanted some rice he asked me a business person so i told him that i will be coming to your area i can bring the rice with me because a small quantity for us to bring is not economical you will have to come and pick up from this place which is close by to your place when i reached there i gave him a call he in a very low voice says he is in a meeting with the ministry of education so he cannot attend my call returned the call so i consider that order to be cancelled yesterday another person called me he said this person wants a particular sweets he this other person he is doing some marketing of my products as a sub distributor to make his make extra dollars now he said that this person who did not take the rice the transaction did not mature he wants some sweets and i gave him this price and he want to talk to you what he is doing he is trying to bypass that person i said no i cannot do that because the transaction you did not ask him my telephone number instead you ask him to get that product he said that there i should be able to deal directly with him i said then you should talk to me direct but do not bring somebody else in the picture and then ask me to bypass him this is not feasible and not practically and otherwise possible for me this is the price if you want it you can take it if not that's it this was the how can i overlook a person this is expressing myself irrespective of what 
the this is one example of being straight and standing to your point to your convictions if i had made a commitment to someone i will fulfill it if i had told this person that whatever sales you do you will get your commission i cannot overlook him when the transaction comes through him for a particular thing so this is how you can be using this example when someone complains about your child listen to that person i listen to your complaints listen to him very attentively and after that you can tell him that the mischiefs are the way of the child this is part of the innocence the child is innocent and he is not cunning and anything that is done innocently is not considered as mischief as it it is a part of the growth of it is natural this is the way you can protect the child from every kind of influence so that he can remain himself remember it is only a question of 7 years because then the first circle will be complete by 7 years he will be well grounded centered is strong enough to find his own way when we put a protective barricading around a small seedling or plant even we put the sticks and tie the plants to that so that they can remain standing properly nobody objects to this because this is the part way a plant is grown when the plants are grown and put it in a planted in a public area where the animals can walk freely then a barricading is put when the plants are put on the by the road side the trees are planted a barricading is put around them nobody objects to that because the plant is not capable of protecting itself the moment the, the plant becomes a tree is strong enough we remove the barricade and also those things are essential then why can why do we have to object when someone protects his children protects his child against all kind of influences you cannot imagine how strong a 7 year old child can be because you have not seen uncorrupted children you have seen only corrupted children who carry the fears the cowardliness of their fathers mothers and their families they are not their own selves if a child remains uncorrupted for 7 years you will be surprised to meet such a child he will be as sharp as a sword his eyes will be clear and so will be his insight and you will see a tremendous strength in him which you cannot find even in a 70 year old adult because the foundations are shaky in fact as the building goes on becoming higher and higher the more shakier it becomes observe an old person becomes more afraid observe the older a person becomes the more afraid he gets when he is young he may be an atheist however when he becomes old he starts believing in god why is that when he is below 30 he will have his own way and his style of everything totally unconventional and unapproved of everyone 
He has courage to go against the society, to behave in his own way, to have long hair, to have a beard, to roam around the world, to take all kinds of risks and so on and so forth. But by the time he is 40, all that has disappeared. You see him in some office in a grey suit, clean shaven, well groomed. You will not even be able to recognize that he was an ex-hippie, followers of Sikh religion, living an unconventional life without following the Sikh traditions when young. However, as the age advances, the leaning towards religion becomes imperative. And then the same person starts following the tenets of the religion. You can see this all around happening in almost all the religions, with almost all the men's in different cultures. Where have all the hippies disappeared to? Suddenly you see them with a great force, then just like used bullet cases, empty cartridges, impotent, defeated and depressed, trying to make something out of life, feeling that all those years were wasted. Many have go gone far ahead. Somebody has become the president, next one has become the governor, and we were stupid. We were just playing the guitar and the whole world passed us by. They repent. This is how life goes on. It is almost impossible to find an old hippie. As a parent, you will need much courage not to interfere. Open doors of the unknown directions to the child so that he can explore. He does not know what he has hidden deep within him. Nobody knows. He has to group in dark. It is the duty of the parent to help him instead make him afraid of darkness. Do not make him afraid of failure and of the unknown. Give him support. When he is going on an unknown journey, send him with all your support, love and all your blessings. Never let him be affected by your fears. You may have fears, but keep them to yourself. Instead unburden him of those fears because that will be interfering with his ways and means. The next excerpt number 17 First stringing of existential bioenergy. First stringing of existential bioenergy. Unless you are ready to take that difficult job, do not become a parent. Unless you are ready to take that difficult job, do not become a parent. Bringing a child into the world requires a great understanding and great effort. Next seven years of life from 7 to 14 is a new addition to life. These years are marked with child's first string of sexual energies. There is a stimulation and thrill. It is the period of emotiveness, but they are only a kind of rehearsal. To be a parent is a difficult job. This requires deep understanding of life and its phenomena. So unless you are ready to take that difficult job, do not become a parent. People simply go on becoming fathers and mothers not knowing what they are doing. You are 
bringing a life into existence bringing a child into life requires a deep loving understanding the child requires all the care in the world now when the child starts playing his sexual rehearsals that is the time when parents inhibit the most because they have been interfered with and they have remained ignorant all their lives considering it to be unnatural all that they know is what has been done to them so they simply go on doing that to their children societies do not allow sexual rehearsals at least have not allowed it up to this century only within the last two or three decades and that too only in advanced countries now children are having co-education but in countries like india even now co-education starts at an advanced stage in most of the cases and in a school certain schools friendship between boys and girls is prohibited as taboos the 7 year old boy and 7 year old girl cannot be in the same boarding house and this is the time for them without any risk without the girl getting pregnant without any problems arising for their families this is the time that they should be allowed all playfulness yes it will have a sexual color to it but it is real sin remember it is not the real drama and if you do not allow them even the real sin then suddenly one day the curtain opens and the real drama starts and those people do not know what is going on it is not that these things are to be taken for granted no actor takes the acting for a particular scene for granted he does a rehearsal before he goes on the stage and those people do not know what is going on if and if you do not allow them even the rehearsal then suddenly one day the curtain opens and the real drama starts and those people do not know what is going on even the director is not there to tell them what to do you have messed up their life completely those seven years the second circle of life is significant as a rehearsal they will meet mix play and thus become acquainted with one another and that will help humanity to drop almost 90% of perversions if the children from 7 to 14 are allowed to be together in every possible way swim together to be together 90% of perversions and 90% of pornography will simply disappear who will bother about it when a boy has seen so many girls what interest can a magazine like playboy have for him when a girl has seen so many boys i do not see that there is any possibility of curiosity about the other all curiosities are simply because of inhibitions and these will disappear they will grow together naturally not as two different species of animals you may find it revolutionary and immoral as christians have found whether you accept it or not but it, in reality it goes on in almost all the families and among boys and girls of that age this goes on secretly it is natural sooner humanity understands this better it will be for humanity 
Many have confessed this to me. Right now they grow like two different species of animals. They do not belong to one mankind and they are kept separate from one another in traditional communities. A thousand and one barriers are created between them so that they cannot have any rehearsal of their sexual life which is going to come. Since this rehearsal is missing, in people's actual sex life foreplay is missing. Remember this foreplay is so important. In fact, it is far more important than the actual sex act because actual sexual act lasts only for seconds. It is not nourishment. It simply leaves you in a limbo. You are hoping for so much and nothing comes out of it. After all the efforts, going to movies, discos and restaurants and talking all kind of nonsense which neither you want nor the other wants to do, but both are talking, digging the mountain and in the end just a raft. Nothing is as frustrating as sex. Certainly if you look around, you will find a thousand and one things better than sex. Sex is just a rat and that too after so much huffing and puffing, so much perspiration and in the end both feel cheated. The reason is that you do not know the art of sex. You only know the middle point. It is as if you see a film just in the middle for a few seconds. Naturally, you cannot make any sense out of it. The beginning is missing and the end too is missing. Perhaps you simply saw the interval where there was nothing. Man feels ashamed after sex. He turns over and goes to sleep. He simply cannot face the woman. He feels ashamed that is why he turns to his side and goes to sleep. The woman weeps and cries because this was not what she was hoping for. But this is all that happens in the name of sex. Then what is this whole drama all about? But the reason is because the rehearsal part in your life has been cancelled by your society. You do not know what is the foreplay and then it happens. What you expect out of sex does not happen. It is just like I sneeze. How good I sneeze will be. Sex is nothing more than a good sneeze. That's all. Do you relish after the sneeze is over? Foreplay is really the most satisfying part of the sex. Foreplay is more loving. Sex is simply a biological climax. But the climax of what? You have missed everything that could have made it a climax. Do you think you suddenly reach to the climax? Missing all the rungs of the ladder, you have to move up the ladder step by step. Only then, only then you can reach the climax. Everybody wants the climax. There are psychoanalysts with all kind of foolish ideas but they put in people's mind about orgies. Remember orgasm is even higher stage than climax. Verily orgasm needs much more than climax. People are missing the climax and their sexual life is nothing but a kind of relief. Yes, for a moment you feel relieved of a burden. Just like a good sneeze, 
you feel very uncomfortable when a sneeze is about to come and if your sneeze is not good you do not feel good how good it feels afterwards and for how long once you had a good sneeze how many seconds or minutes can you boast that i had such a great sneeze as the sneeze is gone so the joy of it too is gone as the sneeze is gone so the joy to is gone it was simply something bothering you you are finished with that botheration there is a little relaxation that is the sexual life of most of the people in the world some energy was bothering and making you happy it has reached your head and now began turning into a headache sex gives you a relief but the way children are brought up is almost butchering their whole life those seven years of sexual rehearsal are absolutely essential girls and boys should be allowed to gather in the schools in hostels in swimming pools and everywhere in indian joint families this happens and what goes on there no elder knows actually a sexual rehearsal goes on such rehearsals is essential for the life which is going to come they have to get ready for it and there is no danger there is no problem before puberty almost every child rehearsals as different games and the most popular game with the children is playing doctors in that game always there is a boy who plays as a doctor and the girl plays the patient the patient has a stomach pain or having babies whom the boy doctor examines or they play mummy and daddy it is natural and spontaneous no one teaches them however this happens whether you accept this or not now tell me what is this and when i am saying such things you may raise eyebrows remember if a child is given total freedom about his growing sexual energy and is not condemned or repressed which is being done and what perversions you see in the present day is because these freedoms are not allowed so when someone gets the age of 13 he runs away with the boy or with the girl many people have told me that when they were they lived in a very conservative society conservative family when they were 13 or 14 they ran away with the boyfriend maybe gone for honeymoon for a couple weeks they returned and re- realized that they are pregnant then after a lot of bickering the family accepts it what is this sexual rehearsal was missing the stringings was there all of a sudden it gets let loose it is natural and spontaneous no one teaches them but if the rehearsals are allowed naturally then these sort of situations of people eloping with one another will not happen now tell me what is this and when i am saying such things you may raise eyebrows remember if a child is given total freedom about his growing sexual energy and is not condemned or repressed which is being done the child will attain to a different kind of maturity this maturity is a moral beyond your so called conditioned morality we live in a very very strange world you are born out of sex 
you live in sex your children are born out of it and sex is the most condemned thing as the greatest sin and all the religions go on putting this garbage and nonsense in your mind each stage unfolds into the next morning unfolds into the mid morning and so on life is continuity from the pressings of yesterday evolves now here all changes take place in this precise moment verily the second circle of 7 years is immensely significant because it will prepare you for the coming 7 years if you have done the homework rightly if you have played with your sexual energy just in the spirit of a sportsman and at that time that is the only spirit you will have you will not become perverted or homosexual all kind of strange things will not come to your mind because you are moving naturally with the other sex the other sex is moving with you in reality there is no hindrance and you are not going doing anything wrong against anybody your conscience is clear because nobody has put into your conscience ideas of what is right and what is wrong you are simply being natural and spontaneous whatever you are then your 14 to 21 years then from 14 to 21 years your sex matures and this is significant to understand if rehearsal is has gone well in the 7 years when your sex matures a very strange thing happens that you may not have ever thought about because you have not been given any chance this is the next phase thereafter comes the phase of sexual maturity that is from 14 to 